Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy and today this is going to be another one of my AutoCAD tutorials and we're going to focus on how to load a Lisp file. Now a Lisp file is basically a programmable routine that you set yourself. So it's either one you write or you just download, which is much easier. Um, download one that someone else has already written. And you can activate this by either making a button for it or using a, uh, a command line. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it using the command line, but the process for doing a button is slightly more complex, but much easier to use in action. OK, so the first thing we do is we have AutoCAD 2012 open here. Um, obviously, it works in all the different versions. And what we're going to do is we go to Manage Tag, first of all, and then Load Application. In fact, before I do that, I just want to show you something. I'm going to start typing in Insert, and I just want you to notice that I've got various different commands here that start with insert. Um, the one that I'm going to add in is one called insert C, which is insert a counter, so every block that I add in is going to be numerically incremented. Okay, so I'm going to go load application, and I'm going to look for where I've saved the actual subroutine. Now, just to show you where it is, I've put it in the program files um, under third party and lisp. Uh, this one, like I say, is called Insert C, and you'll notice this is a VLX file rather than a Lisp file, and the only difference there is the VLX is compiled. I click on that and click Load. Now what that has done is it's loaded it for this instance of me running AutoCAD. If I wanted to load it every time I run AutoCAD, the thing to do is to add it to the Startup Suite here. So I click on Contents for the Startup Suite, and I add and then I just go through the same process, insert CVLX, open, and this will now be added to the startup suite, which means that every time I start AutoCAD, this subroutine is going to be loaded with the AutoCAD as well. But it's important to note that it's not actually the subroutine that's loaded, it's only the path to the subroutine. And so if I were to move that file, I'd need to actually change the path, otherwise it won't work anymore. Once I've done that, I click close, and now when I type in insert, you'll notice that I've got a new command there, which is insert C. And if I just click on that one, it then runs the subroutine and starts adding incrementally counted blocks. Okay, I'm the Adobe Guy. I hope that's been very useful for you today. Thank you for listening.